where Berliner was credited for inventing the first ever microphone. Now, this microphone isn't even close to the microphones today. It is called a carbon button microphone that converts sound to an electrical audio signal. Berliner will go down in musical history, but this is not about him, so let's talk about the microphone. There are different types of microphones. If you were to dissect all those microphones, you consistently see permanent magnets which are made of niodymium iron boron compound and most times copper wire and plastic. They also use aluminium sheets. Three out of the four of those materials are non-renewable, niodymium iron being the renewable source. Let's talk about some of these materials individually, starting with copper wire. Copper wire is known for being one of the best conductors and also for its high ductility. Copper is wound many times in a moving coil to make copper wire. Copper is commonly used not only because of its price, but also because it helps to maximize the electromagnetic induction. The two giants of Canadian copper are Ontario and BC, making Canada have the 12th most copper reserves in the world. Chile has the most copper made and most reserves built. Another non-renewable resource that I want to mention is aluminium, known for lots of things like its light. It is approximately one-third the mass of iron and copper. It has a high conductivity and is, it is resistant to corrosion, which makes aluminium a great material to use. Canada is the fourth biggest aluminium producer in the world from 2016 to 2020. There are 195 countries in the world, which is amazing. We get that amount of aluminum by having t 10 smelters in this wonderful country, which makes these magical microphones that define the music industry. I think that the microphone is an amazing invention that tells us that, that we need non-renewable resources for the things that we love.